I'm back at it here with my uh, Yamaha VK Professional. Uh, love this machine. However, I've got an issue. Uh, I mounted a uh, voltmeter on the uh, dash panel because the battery has been not doing the greatest and I've charged it a few times. Voltmeter was showing um, roughly up to 13.2, 13.5 at speed and it should be much higher than that, it should be in the 14.4 range. In any case, uh, yesterday, um, while driving, um, the voltmeter on the dash showed the voltage just stayed around 12 and then dropped down to as low as 11.8. So there's no charging right now. So I've gone through a process trying to figure out what's going on. And at the end of the day, uh, the regulator, which is under the front there, you can see, um, uh, was nothing coming out of it and I've unplugged the connectors from the regulator this is actually from the stator plugs into the regulator so the connector the gray one with the three wires is coming right out of the engine from the stator um, and while running the machine and again to, uh, so I started the machine without the voltage regulator connected because it's outputting nothing but you have to have this connector right here connected because that connects the uh, instrument pod and it won't start unless you have that connected so with that connected and the stator uh, disconnected measuring ac voltage from each of these pins the stator has three phases and those are each of these white wires are one phase of the stator um, i was measuring uh, at you know about 2000 rpm i was getting 40 volts out of one the other two are like eight and 14 or something really low so I suspect one phase was gone and the other phase just left me the other day. So there's not enough to charge. So in any case, I'm going to start, I'm going to take this apart and replace the stator. And from what I'm seeing, I'm going to remove the oil reservoir tank. And behind that is a cover, which covers um, uh, the starter clutch uh, and some other, uh, the flywheel, etc. And the stator, from what I can see, is mounted to the inside of that cover. So it shouldn't be that difficult a job um, because I don't even have to take the flywheel off from what I see. It's going to be mounted right in there. So we'll find out as I get going here. So the uh, side covers off the machine. Um, I removed the oil tank. Actually quite simple. A few hoses. I drained the oil out of it. And you can see that cover with the two plastic uh, screw-off covers on it is the cover for the side of the engine and the stator is mounted into that cover from the back side. So there's a cable coming out of the top of that. Uh, that cable is routing through here and over to the regulator. So I've pulled the one cable out, but what you need to do is again, make sure you've unplugged the gray cable from the regulator and then disconnect this small connector, there's the two ends. You have to unplug that. It's all part of the stator connector. So now I have this. I'm gonna run it through, pull it back out, and it should be as simple a matter as uh, undoing all the uh, bolts holding that on, and it should come off the whole cover. Now what I did in my case is, this is my uh, coolant heater, which doesn't do a great job, but because it was there, it was turned the other way. So to make room to get the cover out, I loosened the clamps for the coolant and I rotated this 90 degrees so I can push it back now and hopefully help me get that cover out of the hole. So I've routed the uh, stator plug-in cable back through. So it's just hanging here, coming out of the case. One bolt clip holding it. And I'm taking off the uh, their, uh, hex 5 millimeter uh, with an extension. Uh, I thought I might need a universal joint, but I'm not. They're uh, And they're not overly tight. They come out quite easy. Just being careful to move the hoses so I don't drop one down below and have a hard time finding it. And here we go. So the stator is off. That's what it looks like in there with the cover off. Now, I'm going to point, I hope there's enough light here. Um, when you take all the bolts out, it's a little, you have to pull to get the cover off because the stator is held in place by this flywheel is a magnet, so it doesn't want to come off. So you have to pull it straight out. And don't panic if, uh, this is the starter gear. So that I believe right there is the end of the starter itself that drives this gear, which drives the actual crankshaft to start. And this pin comes out, it's just sitting there. 
So when I pulled the cover off, that pin fell out and the gear was cockeyed. Just took a couple of minutes to realize what had happened. So I did a test to put it back on, put the cover back on. And uh, all I did was uh, slide it into place. And you just have to push these hoses back on the left. I had to disconnect and drain a ton of coolant because this coolant heater was too big to let the cover come out. So I ended up having to pop it off, uh, pop the hose off to get it cleared out of the way. And then I managed to wiggle it out. So once you pull it out straight, keep the left side back and, and pull it out. And uh, with the left side back, it came out okay. I did a test to put it back on with that pin and the starter pin and I kind of was eyeing it from above and it did quite well. It wasn't a problem. The gasket came out, it's fine. I'm gonna use some sealant when I put the gasket back in because it appears that that entire stator is submerged in oil with everything in there. Not submerged, but it's splashing around and that's why they have the O-ring caps on the cover. I guess it's to cool the stator. Uh, the good thing is you can actually see good and bad. I mean, I'm changing it. You can see the black burnt coil there. You can see another one over there. Um, they are definitely toast. So this is my problem. I had minimal output on two of the three phases. So, uh, quite confident this will solve it. Obviously putting it back together is uh, the reverse of the same and the new stator, I'm waiting for it to come in comes with the identical harness uh, that just you just feed through and plug back into your uh, regulator. The regulators look complicated with uh, those two big plugs, but there's usually just three AC wires from the stator and then a red and a black coming out for voltage, so they're quite simple. Anyway, uh, reverse is the same as putting it in, and I will uh, check in just to verify that, in fact, this solved my problem, but uh, I believe it did.